All right, let's start by saying that this is going to be a uh, relatively short explanation video on this kind of setup that I'm going on right here. But, but all you really need to know is that this is a throttle with, um, you know, single thumb throttle with a uh, light indicator. This was from this Razer go-kart over here, which I'm going to be retrofitting this stuff to. This is a big motor here. Um, you know, uh, with uh, this big speed controller. And this is just an electrical test. Um, so I got the you know, positive and negative leads and leads to the motor here, along with the motor sensor cable. So right now I got hooked up the throttle. This is the throttle goes to this guy. Um, so this is the light, the LEDs, this is a 50 volt thing, even though it's rate, rated for 24, but, oh well. Oh yeah, these are all 12 volt uh, lead acid batteries, so equal to 48. They're a little bit more than that in actuality. It's like 50-ish volts or 52 if fully charged, just because the individual cells aren't exactly 12 Anyway, so uh, right now I have this simple switch that I marked on and off. So as you can kind of see here, when I switch it on, the uh, LED light comes on and stuff. And it shows that it has power to spin the motor if I throttle. Something also that I hooked up was the three-way speed sensor, or the, yeah, the three-speed mode. So this is lowest mode. You can hear that. I wish you could see it better, but it's it's much different than uh, second mode. It's slightly different. And then high speed. It sounds nice. Um, hopefully it goes to like, even though it says it's rated speed 4,500 RPM, the kit that I got it, with said it spun to 5200 RPM, so I'm gonna trust that it's this and not See? this guy. It's right there. Another thing, so this is you know the explanation of ah uh, yes, so this stuff is going to be retrofit onto this. This is kind of what it's gonna be in here. I uh, welded on this little bar right here <clears throat> as an extension because the motor plate comes out to there so I'm gonna make these holes bigger these holes now this is just temporary I'm gonna file it out to match it about that size um, this is the battery tray this battery tray I had to extend it out to add for this little box that you see with the X's and I'm gonna see those that's that was the original tw uh, 24 volt system. It held two of those guys, uh, but now I need four, and so I laid it out and kind of uh, to hold that, and it'll kind of do. Right now I have this throttle on just because I thought the other one was broken, um, but it's not. So yay! There's also a brake switch in that uh, brake, lever brake there, and it would be mounted right where those two screws would be the, for the brake and the pad. And as you can see, I do not have the rear axle on here, no rear tires or anything, just the front. Um, so front throttle, brake, okay. But you know, that's just the progress I got, this old Razor dune buggy go-kart thing um, and I was like hey I bought this motor a while back this motor and speed controller so I might as well use it right and uh, yeah now I have a you know, whole mess of a bunch of stuff and my welder station and stuff over there I opened the back of the garage there for ever since I got all this wiring stuff figured out which there isn't a lot of um, you know stuff on the internet yeah, let's turn this off. Don't need that anymore. Um, I have uh, 
this uh, it's supposed to be a 48 volt charger it does kind of work but I had to like cut off these leads here that lead to that and I've had a whole whole shebang of issue looking at like the voltage going through here through this one of these charging cables charge right. so hopefully I can charge it through BMS sorry the I guess ECU speed controller whatever that thing you know um, and be able to just plug it into the wall because I really do want it to uh, be like a regular go-kart so two things I, I wanted to have like 30 mile per hour speed so I uh, upgraded this second dairy gear here um, increased its size and uh, I also put on or a long time ago me and my dad uh, retrofit these really big uh, 12 inch pneumatic tires instead of uh, these little guys that were on the rear end originally there used to be a set of these that were basically identical except for you know like a key um, in there to attach to the rear axle which is this and as you can see I have a brake uh, disc here and a uh, you know gear for the stuff and beans let's put that back on okay. don't want to touch the floor all the leaves as you can see I need to clean the garage <clears throat> outside of that I mean so I still got all the parts and stuff is there attachments point for the bearings right here these are the little bitty axle bearings so that attaches to the go-kart and this is the little bitty brake pad squeezer so I can just see that moves up and down so this is a brake cable attaches to that guy and um, hmm, hopefully it'll all come together and be an adorable fantastical Razor go kart. Oh boy. Um, like, comment, subscribe, or something. I don't know. I don't care. Um, uh, if you want to see this mess cleaned up, then sure, yeah, do that. Uh, maybe do a time lapse of uh, moving all these boxes and stuff. And, um, or maybe you just want to see me work on the go kart. You know, I did. A lot of work without recording any of it. Took a few pictures, but that's about it. Uh, if you want to see like the costs or anything, or what it's cost me to do this project, or um, have any questions, you can just I don't know, leave a comment, and I'll see what I can do. All right. Well, thanks for your time. I just wanted to share this project.